Why, hello, <laughs> welcome to Athos Craft, and Happy New Year. That's right, yeah, it's New Year 2023. Um, and I thought we'll do something a little bit different for this video, um, being the first of the new year. I thought we'll cover uh, a few stones in one go and um, plans for 2023 moving forward. So we're here on the Athos Craft server, and uh, this is the great hall I've been working on over Christmas. Um, as you can see, um, I don't quite like the chandelier. We're going to change that probably, but that's just a, a working contempt. Contempt? Contempt can't talk today. Concept. That's going to be a working concept at the moment. It's going to be two of them. Once I get the design of this one, I like, and then I'll put one over there as well. But this is the hall taking shape. Uh, and this is the obviously the roof area of where we've been working. Um, if we go outside, you can see we're pretty high up. We can see our little village down there that still needs to be expanded. We had the road to spawn. Um, we have the roof up here, which carries on. This is not quite our build height. There's going to be a couple of spars going right up to build height. And if we... Can we go back and run all the way across the hall? All the way across, all the way across. There you go. And then we can see the rest of it down there. There's the, there's the iron farm. Uh, there's the masons So yeah, we're doing quite well over in the distance over there is the gold farm So we got quite a lot going on in this area, but yeah, let me know. What do you think of the horse? This is um, This is pretty much what we've gone for for the roof. This is technically the roof <laughs> uh, We haven't done nothing on the upper layer yet. I don't know what to do here I don't know if to bring this or keep this quite open. I don't know yet. That's something we're gonna have to discuss I quite like the effect of this here. We can see the sky um, things so this is obviously brick um, And then what we've done is see we've kind of left it and then put these things in place They cause these little gaps and then put blue glass all the way up through here Just to make that quite nice, but you can see all the way outside these look Oh, you can see see the iron farm. Hello <laughs> uh, We got a bit of a gap here, but that's because I don't ooh, fall down. I don't want to Damage the wall here because if we put anything against this wall It changes the texture slightly on the outside. Now. That's probably not a bad thing I don't really want to do that at the moment um, Can I show you on these side bits here? Probably not No, I can't and obviously the goad farms over there. It's just on top of that mountain over there You probably can't see it, but yeah, there we go Um what we want to do here is, is we're gonna get a glacier a bit more and I think We've only got the start of the glacier down here and a little bit of ice melt. I think we're going to just terraform this a little bit more and get a bit more glacier. So we've got quite a lot going on. And um, the other thing that's going to come in 2023 on Athos is return of the Athos news. So those of you who watched my videos in the past know I used to do the Athos news. And I'm going to shoot over to Spawn now and uh, to show you where we're building a new stu studio. I really can't talk today, can I? Ah, welcome to Spawn. <laughs> hey. Here we are. Right, let's um, go down. Also, we've shown you spawn a little bit. I don't think we've finished this completed building now. Um, obviously, that's our Star Wars competition over there. It's, it's getting dark. I think before we go down to the studio, let's go to sleep in my residence hall here. There we go. Go and sleep. You might have noticed in the glimpse there was a building just down from us. So let's go down there. Shut that door and let's go. And there we are. There you can see it. Start of the Athos new studio. Um, and you can tell the type of design we're going for. It's kind of a modern sleep design. Uh, loads of glass. Uh, very contrasting colours and blocks with this one. They're totally different to the other designs we're in here, apart from the big community chest there. <laughs> but here we are. This is going to be the new Athos studio when we get it going. So this will be the return of Athos News. Um, and those of you that do, that are on Athos, and obviously in Discord, please keep an eye out, because we're going to be asking for some news stories as well. Um, but yeah, we haven't done much here. We, we're slowly building it, but this has cost me a bit of money for the concrete, because I can't be bothered to make it. So I'm buying it at the shops. Um, and we got a floor design to think of. But yeah, I quite like the outline of this design at the moment. Uh, this won't be solid. This is just it's just to get the shape at the moment. Um, so looking good, looking good. With Athos News returning, um, 
and a few more projects to carry on here on Athos until June on this server, if, um, and then we'll we'll decide on whether or not we need to restart a server. Um, I'm going to shoot over to the Brocroc server now, so let's scoot over on the other side of the Minecraft world. And as if by magic, I now dome <laughs> diamond armor and a gold hat. <laughs> Uh, we've been down here before, haven't we? Yeah, we haven't been on this server much. Um, number of deaths, 85. We know who that is. Uh, walking stick is on. I knew who's in second place as well, but I'm not going to reveal it. But we're, we're down in six now. We're, we were up at fifth at one point, but we've dropped down. There's a, a few now that's shooting way up on the thing. We'll be polite and say hi to walking. So walking is one of our fans actually on the Brook Croc server because it's a little bit different here how they operate. We got a little mullion, 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 really cannot talk. Got our melon, our melon, melon, melon farm working today, which is a small one, but you know, it's producing. That's all we want it to do at the moment. We're not really going to think. Um, but what we want to do is go up to the surface. Is it night time? Let's get it. Let's wait till that goes daytime, shall we? There we go. Date. Daytime. I just took the clock off. <laughs> uh, let's put that back, shall we? Bonk. There we go. Uh, up we go. There we are. So we've all seen the village before, but look. Look, we've managed to finish some. <laughs> I wish you stopped killing my sheep. I'll collect that. Thank you. We finished them. We still need to texture this white concrete, but look, here we go. The basic shape is now done. And uh, we've started now to develop the inside. So we've got our garden and our trees growing here. Although we might take away the lower branches here so we keep our hedge effect. Uh, yeah, because I only want a small tree in here. Uh, I don't think this tree's grown. No, you're not grown. Another little wolfies in here. Um, and I don't think we've done all the roof yet, have we? No. <laughs> we've still got pink terracotta to put up here and we've still got this section of the roof to do. But look at this. I'm, I'm really happy with this Roman build. Um, so things are a little bit different here on, on the Brookhawk server. I'm obviously basing this on real pictures, um, on logical drawings. Um, so I'm trying to get this a little bit more realistic. The same with those colours over there, actually. Um, not all Romans were, were white. I guess um, some have blue in. Um, we know they use blue as a colouring, so we're going to build things like that. So this is the first of, the, of a small manor, if you like, and this is going to house the stonemasons, I do believe. Although it's not very um, mod proof at the moment, we will make it mod proof. We'll, we'll put some doors in. I know Romans didn't really have. Well, they had doors to a degree, I suppose. Um, but this isn't really designed for doors, but we do need to put something in place to protect our things. It's quite dark in here as well, so really not mob proof at all. I quite like the garden. I think this works well for me, this does. I think what we might do is put some water channels down the side here. Oh, that might work quite well, I don't know. We'll just leave it as it is. Nice green grass with a couple of trees in it. Um, that's quite a nice size spruce tree, actually. I'm hoping that one grows to be the same. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, obviously got our dram guy there. Let's dispatch of him, shall we? Because he's just going to do my head in. <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. Oh, he's dead. I must well get the experience points for here. Do, 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 do. No, walk in. No. Um, and then, obviously... Our banners, so we're going to put some more banners on this build because it, it just gives it that little bit of extra detail. Um, so we know Dara kindly gave me a lot of bone blocks. I'm trying to put wool in as well, maybe. Oh, there's something a bit of a texture. I'm still, I really have struggled with texturing white concrete, but I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get there and make that look really fantastic. But from here, no, I'm really impressed. I, I do like it. Um, as we move up, obviously we've got these builds again on the interiors of design yet, but they will be done. That's obviously our enchantment table in this one. This was just one of the first early Roman builds we did, so I quite like the texture of this. Anyway, we have done the bridge. 
Um, so the bridge now does come across. We still need a lot of andesite to finish the top on these sides. So we're going to have to finish the andesite along to here. And then obviously it comes back down to our road here. And then we're going to go here. Um, so this is meant to represent like the guttering on this, the side. If you look at a Roman road, it's actually quite curved. Um, and it had ditches on either side. And that's probably helped with drainage. So that's what I'm trying to do here, just to show a bit of drainage. Although it doesn't, yeah, there's a bit of drainage up here. And we're going to put some more green. I think this is going to texture it a little bit better with the colouring. So that's that done. So now we can conquer this part of the land as well. Um, I think that's going to be farmland somewhere. I think we'll probably put farmland here. Over there is going to be the barracks. I haven't decided which side which. That forest has got to go though. So the birch forest has got to go. Um, but we'll get rid of that and then everything else. So yeah, I'm really happy with the progress here. So <laughs> another switch now. Um, so another game I have been playing all Christmas because it's a game I used to play when I was younger and I've never really played this version of it. So we're going to go there and, and do our outro from another game. Let's go. There you go. Welcome to the Settlers. Um, this was number seven, Path to the Kingdom, uh, released in 2010. Um, I'm still waiting on the reboot, which was meant to be released in 2019, now in March 2023. So, I'm really looking forward to the reboot. I really do want to do a series of this in the new year if it comes along. And the one thing I loved about this game is you have to really think about all your materials and everything else. Let's listen to the outro. Because we won. Make no mistake, young princess. Although you have defeated me, your victory will be short-lived. Is that your conscience speaking? Or your pride? Neither. But my knowledge of your enemies. You do not stand a chance against the mighty Lord Wolverine or his Dark Knight Dracorian. You're just trying to intimidate me. I am merely trying to warn you. Turn back! Tandria will never be yours! I'm not afraid. But you will be. You will be! There you go. You were Apparently so it will be. <laughs> Yeah, victory. We won. So, this game is just something I used to play. I think it first came at 1993 on the Amiga 500 when I owned one. Um, but yeah, this is something I'm kind of still interested in. I'm wondering if you're interested in a series for this game. Particularly, I know it's old. Well, 13 years old. Um... And there's no other, apart from the reboot, that we're still waiting for at the moment. So, we did toy with Settlers 3. But I thought my Settlers 7 might be better. Although I'm still trying to get used to some of the way it builds a little bit different on here. Uh, one thing I like about this is, like I said, you've got to build wood gathering. And then you've got to build the sawmill. Um, you can get hunters, you got to build the butchers, so it's thinking ahead and making sure you've got the resources to do all the different things. I think we're going to cut to the scene where they're all fishing. So let me know what you think of the plans in 2023. So Athos Craft, Brook Rock will continue. And every now and then I thought we might add in a few old games here and there like Settlers, maybe a couple of warships again maybe elite dangerous and a few other games i might touch on during the year for now i hope you have a good start to your new year thank you very much for watching and goodbye